back. Continuing coverage in Edmonds tonight, a man caught lurking around a ballet class and arrested for grabbing a child in a dressing room is back on the streets tonight. And that's not all he's accused of. Surveillance footage caught the same 35-year-old man smelling a child's feet. But prosecutors say there was not enough evidence for a felony charge. As Fox 13's Lauren Donovan explains, it appears he's back at it. We kind of thought we addressed the issue then by booking the person into jail. These recent incidents have all occurred within about the last 10 days or so. Despite his arrest, despite his misdemeanor charge, the man accused of approaching and lingering around kids just can't seem to stop. Edmonds police tell me the calls keep coming in. Within the last week or so, he's been spotted at nearby schools, both private and public. We get calls of suspicious people all the time, but once our investigators start putting, oh, wait, it's the same person over and over again. Edmonds schools first alerted parents eight days ago, saying a suspicious man was spotted in the library. Three days after that, they circulated this photo of him and a no trespass order was issued. Police confirm this is indeed the same man arrested in early October for lurking around a ballet class at the community center, smelling kids' feet and grabbing a child in the dressing room. It wasn't graphic, but it was creepy. A lot of concerns there. It just means that we're going to have to be a little bit more um, uh, protective of our children, I guess. and. Uh, maybe a little more helicopter-ish. Naturally, parents here in town have questions, like, why don't we know his name? Not knowing who this person is, it makes it even a little more, uh, a little, little bit scarier. It makes me a little more leery of every person. Commander Josh McClure with Edmonds Police says they must operate on innocent until proven guilty. But I share their frustrations. The chief shares the frustrations like, hey, why is this, why is this person allowed to be walking around? Commander McClure tells me showing no contrition and repeating the same behaviors is not enough to book him. They need evidence of something more egregious. One of our detectives who specializes in these types of things, and the word that she used was brazen. Like, it's, it's brazen behavior, um, and appears to be no regard for potential consequences. Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.